Hi, my name is Laura and this is Rayo and we are first year student reps in the media production class in Klasha Dulig. Today we have invited some of the students to talk about uh, their experience in the media production course, but also the experience of working from home due to COVID-19. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm Ben. My name is Samia. My name is Dara. I'm Layla. Yeah, I'm Rory. Uh, I'm Sarah. Uh, my name's Evan. I'm a media production student in CDCFE. By the end of this course, I hope to get the top-up degree, the media production degree, and um, hopefully become a producer or a director or something like that. Um, hopefully by the end of this course, I'd like to get, um, you know, the top degree as well and hopefully work in a, in a career that I love and enjoy something to do with maybe producing maybe in the music industry or tv and film. I feel like the course has really opened my eyes to the wide variety of things in terms of media curation. Okay is there any um specific module that you enjoy about the course? Um I've really liked all the stuff that I've done I surprisingly intercultural studies was actually one of my favorite things that we did but I'm really enjoying uh, media analysis. And I think that it's just so interesting with like all these things that you wouldn't have noticed about like even just a simple post on Instagram, like now, like you can just see like 10 times deeper into everything. So with media, like, I mean, I came into the media course expecting it just to be like movie production and, and radio production. And I didn't really know too much about it. Then when I came in, the, the, the whole aspect of doing intercultural studies, for example, and, and something that I didn't even know was in the media course and just opened. I mean, I, you could say it opened my eyes to a lot of things I, I, I didn't know about. We talked about many stuff and, and many different cultures and, and, and world religions. So to learn about something like that while doing a media course was, was definitely a, a brilliant, brilliant aspect. Nice. And how do you feel about the class? So like, do you feel like you can get to know people go well in the class considering we're all technically like creative? It definitely is like a definitely. very, very good yeah. vibe. Um, I think that people here are a lot more um, like expressive. So yes. I like that. Um, in when I was in TUD, everybody was very like, even the way they dressed and everything. This is not to like, I'm not slagging them off or anything, but like the, the way they dressed even was just so um, like, how do I say this? About formal, like would you say? <laughs> like uh, not formal, because that then, yeah, like, um, formal. would you say like, I don't know what society considers normal? Yeah, I mean, like they didn't really like pay too much attention to how they looked on the outside. And like, it wasn't a thing for them that they wanted to express themselves. Yeah, like I think it is because like we can all like share ideas with each other and like in my own like past experiences like none of my kind of close friend group weren't like creative or if I had like a mad idea to like shoot something or around that they would like look at me with 10 heads but I feel like everyone in our class is like spontaneous in that way as in if you have like you can think of something absolutely crazy and not over it, like yeah I think that would work everyone has that kind of like mindset and stuff you know but you don't realize how much like every doesn't like obviously everyone has their own little separate group and stuff, but everyone gets on well no matter what. Like that's one thing that I was really happy about. I feel like everyone kind of like brings something out of everybody else, you know, like we all like we all get along extremely well and like we all have the same interests and like we're all like very like friendly and stuff. So I feel like straight away like we kind of just knew that we'd all get along even from our zoom calls at the start like before we'd met each other uh would you recommend this course to like new students and why would that be i'd recommend it to anybody who's looking to do to kind of specialize in any art form because i don't know i feel that too many people go into go and study fine art or they go to study just music and then they realize there's so much more to it than that if you get me I'd 110% I'd recommend this course to anyone and I didn't even think last year when when to say January last year we're all so young still and I find it difficult for anyone to decide what they want to do for a career at the age 18 19 20 so I mean to come into media there's so much to do with the course that there's so many different careers you can take with media you're not you're not rushing down to maybe two or three career choices if you were doing say a business course or 
yeah, coming from like a big college like DCU, going into this, you would definitely maybe you would have some. Like at first, I was like, oh, going to Kalash to do like you know, it's a step down. Like first thing Reese said to me as well, I remember he goes, um, "Does anyone feel like a failure coming to Kalash to do like?" And I was like, "Not really, because it's going to be something that I love." And there's so many alumni that come out of like media production that are so successful and media is such a big industry to go into now. Why wouldn't you want to be a part of it? Like you really get to, like, even if you don't want to show off your own work, you could go work for another bigger company. Like there's, it, it's just like Samia said, the possibilities are endless when you're doing this course. Like there's so many opportunities at the end of the road.